think we did it. We did it, baby. Oh, whoa, that was dangerous. I just realized that these sunglasses reflect in the window and I don't want to dox myself, so I'm going to take these off. Okay, and we're not gonna wear them for the whole thing. I'm actually recording this in the day because I've actually opened up my curtains. Damn, my face looks so smooth right now. It looks like there's a filter on it, but um, no, it's just natural lighting coming in for once in my videos. I think I've, the only other video I've done this is the cookie one. The reason why I'm actually recording in the day is because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having a couple of crazy nights. Uh, for context, I'm recording this on a Saturday. But two nights ago on Thursday, I went clubbing with my high school friends. They came over to Glasgow, so that was cool. And then last night, I was at a house party with my uni friends for someone's birthday. And then tonight I'm going to pop crawl with my primary school, my old primary school friends. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think my social battery has ever been this low before. Which is probably why my voice is a little fried right now because I'm prone to talking to a lot of people at these things and it gets, it gets hard on your voice, especially when you're carrying conversations. <laughs> which I don't do often, but well I do. A lot of my friends just let me kind of take the wheel on, you know, the topic of conversation, which I'm cool with. I'm, I'm fine doing that, of course. I'm mainly an extrovert, so it's, it's cool with me. That's why my voice is a little fried, and tonight it will probably get a lot worse, but that's okay, because, you know, we're celebrating friends' birthdays, and we're celebrating friends' success, so I'm always good with that. Anyway, let's get into the Q&A. Um, a few people commented on the community post, which I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with. That's what I wanted. But a lot of people just chose the route of just um, asking me on Instagram, which, sure, I, I can do both. I'm fine with doing both. It's, it's cool with me. But let's, let's get started, everybody. Let's get started. This is why I also waited till Saturday, so like it would take time for people to send them in. I'm just going from the YouTube one. So I know this is Charlie, because I know like his account and stuff, but he asked me, Edinburgh or Glasgow? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I live in Scotland. I know, dogs and myself. I said I wouldn't do it, but um, <laughs> I grew up in Edinburgh for 18 years and now I'm living in Glasgow for uni and, you know, that's well, actually, that's probably the only reason. Yep, that's why I'm living in Glasgow. And as a lot of people love Edinburgh, you know, they say it's such a beautiful city, you know. Oh my God, have you been on Princess Street? Have you seen the castle? It's like, yeah, but you know, living there for 18 years, I'm kind of numb to it all. <laughs> It's really hard for me to like get into the mind of a tourist when they see it for the first time because that's just an open for me. So I'm not really attached to the place of Edinburgh, I'm more attached to people there. I think how I'm gonna answer this question is I'm gonna say it as me right now. Me right now, I prefer Glasgow because you know, I, I really like the student scene over here and the nightlife and all that stuff. There's a lot more options I think in Glasgow, especially like the venues for music and whatnot. It's a lot better through here than it is in Edinburgh. But like if I was like 30 or something and I was choosing one to live in, I'd probably choose Edinburgh. Glasgow is a lot more affordable to live in, I think. I've been seeing recently, they've been upping their prices to kind of match Edinburgh. And like, especially the parking. All right, now we're gonna go to the next question. Next question, next question. Um, what's the worst meal you've made slash ate at uni? Okay, I like this question. It's very specific. Maybe the person who commented is like big into their cooking, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But um, the worst meal, I make a lot of good meals, I will say. I do rarely eat like a trash girl dinner. I'm more prone to like actually doing a lot of cooking. I can I use cooking as a good break from studying. You know, just to give my brain a break. It's pretty relaxing for the most part, <laughs> I think. Well, for me it is, for me it is. You know, I've seen those cooking shows. That looks stressful as hell, but you just put on a good podcast and you're just chilling. That's that's how I cook. I don't know how other people cook, but yeah. I think the worst thing I've ever made slash ate, this is pretty bad, but uh, there's context. I was up probably around like half one, maybe. Just working on a video or studying or something like that. And I get quite hungry, right? So I go into my kitchen and I'm looking through my cupboards and stuff that I keep my food in. And I see a small tin of tuna. And of course I want a quick meal and I don't know if you know this, but you can just eat tuna straight out of the tin. So I was eyeing it up, you know, like, mmm, that's looking good. <laughs> but obviously, like, having tuna on its own is kind of lame. But I, I kind of like fancy things, you know, I like, I like being a little bit bougie. So what I did, I wouldn't consider this bougie, actually. <laughs> but what I did is I opened it up, I got my fork and, like, drained it. Because, you know, there's, like, gross, like, liquid stuff that's in there. Uh, that's, that's bad, man. Anyway, once it was drained, I put it to the side and I went to my fridge. Because that's where you should store mayonnaise. And I took out my mayonnaise. And then I, I squirted the mayonnaise into, like, the top layer of tuna. Got my fork and mashed it all together. Tuna mayonnaise, amazing. On a sandwich, especially. But, um, I don't have bread, so... <laughs> Uh, because personally, for carbs, I prefer like rice or pasta, so I'm not really big on bread. I don't know if I'm missing something in my diet there. Anyway, once the tuna mayonnaise was perfectly mixed, I just like had it in the middle of my kitchen, got my fork and just started eating it straight at the tip. 
Okay, I will say, I don't think this meal was as bad as what I've heard from other people. Like, I've seen what other people post what they eat and they'll have like a slice of cheese, like some beans and a pack of gum. Like that, that is gross, okay? <laughs> I think comparing my tuna thing to like other people, it's definitely not that bad, but comparing it to my other meals, then it's definitely the worst, you know? All right, this next question we have, when can we expect new music from Double O? Okay, okay, I like this, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think my next artistic journey um, will be venturing into writing a full album. I've kind of already got the foundation for it and I'm about to have a lot of free time, so I'm very excited for that. I'm also doing a little surprise thing for my birthday, which is miles away, but so you can look forward to that. I, I love posting a little video on my birthday. Um, I think it was a fragrance video last year. Actually, to stay on a musical theme, I think I'm gonna answer this question. Are you going to stay solo or are you planning to start a band? Okay. Okay, having a band would be cool. Doing the circuits, you know how it goes. See, I have a problem, especially when it comes to like the art I make and stuff. I'm really passionate about it. I want full control over it, which is kind of hard in the band. Or if like I'm co-writing a song with someone, it's really hard for me to give them anything to do or like help me on. But um, you know, I'd actually really love to be in a band and kind of do the Glasgow venue circuits. I don't really have any plans or ideas on who I'd be in a band with. However, I do have a band name. <laughs> I don't know why this has come a theme in my videos, but talking about apples, I was thinking of like, this is random. This is a random one thought, you know, just, it's a classic. You know my videos, this is how it works, but I like the idea of the name, the apple pack, you know, cause then I, I don't know. Cause you know, we're like a pack of apples, you know, the apple pack is quite a long name. So you could break it down to just uh, first letters. Like, oh, who are you going to see? I'm going to say tap. If I could choose a band name, that's, that's where it would be, the apple pack. To be honest, you know what's weird? Even though that's like a weird theme, I don't even like apples. I actually, I have like this weird sensory reaction to them. Where if someone bites an apple near me and I hear the crunch, they give me like shivers up and down my spine. It's weird. I think it has something to do with like one side of wobbly tooth and I've been to an apple and it really, really hurt. So I, I just like feel my teeth like clench up whenever I hear someone bites into an apple. I also get that with like a certain type of carpet as well. Like someone like scraping their shoe the wrong way against this carpet. Like, oh, it's awful. Oh. I remember my old primary school, they used to have this carpet all over the floor. It would just give me this really visceral, like awful feeling. I don't, I don't know. I have issues. <laughs> One of my close friends just asked me, who's your best friend? <laughs> Um, you. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't really have like one best friend. I feel like, like I said at the start of the video, how I have like high school friends, uni friends, and primary school friends. I like to categorize people and put them into different groups in my head. And I, I, I of course have my favorite friends within those groups, but I wouldn't say any of them are my best friend. I don't have one best friend. Instead of saying you have like five best friends, just say you have five favorite friends. I don't know about anyone else, but you know, like earth tones are kind of in right now. Is it just me? I'm, I'm loving the color brown. I just love kind of the natural look right now. Like wood and stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. No one asked me this question, but <laughs> another random spiel. That's just how I go. <laughs> Damn, even my bed. <laughs> stuff. it's all just like beige. I'm just loving beiges and browns right now. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I fuck with it. And creams. Creams as well. Which is why I like my hair right now. It's like brown and like lighter. I guess really light brown is blonde, you know. What am I talking <laughs> What's your favorite video game? Um, my favorite video game right now is Sea of Thieves. I've been getting back into it. I've been hopping on every season, <laughs> playing for like a good week and then like stopping. I don't really play much games anymore, but um, Sea of Thieves always has a special place in my heart. It kind of just fulfills my younger self's fantasy of being a pirate. <laughs> you know, just like being on a ship, you know, gunslinging, cutlass swinging, just, you know, getting the treasure, just it's dope. I love it. I've kind of been playing solo recently because I haven't really assembled a new crew yet. I used to have a good crew with some of my old friends, but we don't really play much anymore, so I'm just kind of soloing it right now. I'm hoping to find a new crew soon. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not going to be able to answer everyone's questions in this. And I do kind of like to keep my videos like below 10 minutes. So this will be the last question. Uh, it's from another one of my friends. <laughs> they ask, are you single? Hee <laughs> hee oo woo. I'm gonna be real here for a sec. To the person who asked me that, you are cringe, okay? You are cringe. <laughs> Imagine me calling you cringe, okay? Just before this video started, I pressed record on my camera, walked back there wearing sunglasses, walked forward, and then nearly dogs myself, okay? And I just nearly did it again, so I'm not gonna wear sunglasses. Imagine me calling you cringe. Like, that's an L, okay? <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'm still single, still loving it. I'm really happy, actually, right now. Mainly because I have so many plans coming up this summer and whatnot, so I kind of don't want to get into anything too serious right now. Yeah. Sorry if that breaks your heart, of course. <laughs> but uh, no one can tie me down. 
was actually talking about love languages with one of my friends, right? And I asked him, oh, what's your love language? He was like, he said, oh yeah, his love language is eye contact. I hope he doesn't watch this video. Well, this is kind of a test, see if he does. I know his flatmate does, so shout out to his flatmate. You said you'd leave a comment, but you didn't, so what's up with that? I think my love language giving is definitely like gifts and like stuff like that. Like, you can ask any of my friends who I've given a gift to. I'm the best at giving gifts in my friend group. I will say, I will say. You just think of like a good memory of this person or like something you've done together and then you just put that into a gift, like just translate it. Um, highly recommend using Etsy as well for personalized gifts. Even like, even like the stupid gifts, like once I got one of my friends like a pig watering can with like wings and my thought process was like, like that's kind of silly. But then I got them a bottle of wine. So then they started pouring it in the watering can and they could drink out of it. And personally, I knew they were going to do that because I know my friends, you know. If you're not good at giving gifts, then you know, you're not a good friend. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Tips on being better at giving gifts. When they talk about things they like, just actually listen. Like, that's crazy. You can get so much, like, ideas from that, okay? It's really not rocket science. It's not that hard. My love language receiving is definitely not words of affirmation. <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. Listen, listen. I just don't believe it when people tell me, like, I'm good at anything or anything like that. I'm just like, I don't believe you. Receiving is definitely quality time. Like, even, like, just sitting in silence and both working on your own stuff, like, Doing that together, there's just something so beautiful about that, you know? Like, that's really precious to me. No one asked this question, I just wanted to talk about it, because I don't know why, it's just quite interesting to me how we all give and receive love in different ways. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know. It's my video, fuck it, who cares?